Now, the 20-day Alaska Klondike Gold Rush, this is actually my personal favorite itinerary. Why is it? Well, it's a 13-day land tour of which you have five days and five nights that are dedicated to the Yukon territories before you return into Alaska and then take that seven-day cruise through the Inside Passage. So 13-day land, seven-day cruise program here, highlighting places again like Prince William Sound, Kluwani National Park, the White Pass in Yukon, that's this beautiful train that takes you from Fraser, British Columbia down into Skagway, Alaska on a day trip. Of course, Dawson City, all of its highlights. Chicken, Alaska, one of the most noted names of cities in Alaska. Fairbanks, and again, the Alaska Railroad Gold Star Service, and the second of three itineraries that spend the two nights at Kantishna. Now here's beautiful Prince William Sound. You can see the glaciers creeping out of the mountains down into the waters of icy Prince William Sound. You can see the trawlers or crab boats here. Fishing is actually the number three industry in Alaska today. Oil being number one, tourism is actually number two, and then number three is the fishing industry. Kluwani National Park, Kluwani Lake, this rich wildlife area we'll travel through as we travel the Alaska Highway down into Whitehorse Yukon territories. When we get into the Klondike, boy, the atmosphere changes here. You're going to take that day trip on the train down into Skagway. You're going to see the wonderful places like the uh, Red Onion Saloon and the streetcars that travel the roadways here. And you'll see these older buildings that most places, well, they would have been taken down. But they're left to stand because it's part of the character and part of the charm of this area known as the Yukon or the Klondike. One of the highlighted stops that we'll also make while we're here, when we leave Whitehorse and head towards Dawson City, it's called the Brayburn Lodge. I want you to take a look at these buns right here, these cinnamon rolls. That's on an 8-inch plate. Keep in mind these people just ate lunch or breakfast two hours ago, and they're eating lunch up at Minto Landing two hours later. So again, a lot of eating on these programs, no doubt about it. Dawson City, home to that gold rush of 1898, sits on the confluences of the Yukon and the Klondike River. This picture is taken from what's known as Midnight Dome. As I said, when we're here in Dawson, a lot of activities, including six levels of gold dredge number four here. We'll pan for gold in Rabbit Creek, or Cash Creek as it's known. We'll tour the downtown and the Midnight Dome, and then you'll also take a dinner cruise on that Klondike Spirit, about a three-hour trip down the Yukon River. And here's chicken. Chicken has a population of about 11 people, and this is really all you see. The liquor store, the saloon, an outhouse, and a gift shop. But it's got to be a must-see when you visit Alaska and you're getting a chance to go to the Yukon territories. And then to complete this itinerary, three days and three nights in Denali, two of them at Kantishna before our third night at the McKinley Princess Lodge.